Sorry. <laughs> In all seriousness, hello and welcome to uh, Chill and Chat. So, to get things off my chest, uh, today marks a very special occasion. What is that special occasion? I'll show you, because uh, it's actually really cool. As of today, Sonic Adventure 2 is officially 20 years old. We know that's tomorrow for me. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 initially came out um, Huh? Oh, wait, now I get it, now I get it, now I get it. Also, <laughs> I like how Sega announced the game in October, like literally the month after it came out in the US, and then exhibited it the following year. <laughs> But, um, as it turns out, I was actually wrong. Um, I was thinking of the initial release, um, but the worldwide release was actually, uh, and quite literally, the same day as Sonic's then, f uh, 10, 10 year anniversary. So, um, it's not officially 20 years old everywhere, just. Uh, within certain territories, but, um, yeah, I have to say, to this day, this game is still, like, the best Sonic game, at least 3D-wise. I know some, pe some people will say, oh, well, Unleashed is, and you have every right to have that opinion, because, honestly, like, I haven't beaten Unleashed, partially because uh, I was actually stuck on the level where you have to save Tails. I didn't realize I had to level up both skills, okay? Plus, I have a major gripe with that Sonic game. Quick time events in a Sonic game do not go together. It's like putting peanut butter and jelly and then putting mayonnaise on it. It wouldn't be good. Um, but anyway, um, wait, what? <laughs> they have it on their website! <laughs> oh. Okay. Cool. Um, and I like how one of the tags is Dreamcast, and <laughs> the game literally came out on Dreamcast, um, 2001. Um, but yeah, so, I guess officially it is 20 years old, but not everywhere in the world, it's just in certain territories, but I think that's what people are going by right now, but yeah, so as of today, Sonic Adventure 2 is officially 20 years old, and it doesn't feel old. I mean, it looks kind of dated compared to nowadays games, but That's talking about the visuals. In terms of the gameplay, I still think it's a much better game than many of the new Sonic games. Except for Rangers, because we don't know how that's going to pan out. But, uh, I will say this. I'm very glad that Sega still continues to honor the very platform that... really bit the dust a little too soon. But, then again... What else could Sega do, you know? Um, something else to show off. Guess what happened a few days ago? 
So, going back to this, also my hand is very sweaty. Um, going to the EYPO, I want to show this. Like, this isn't an exciting revelation or anything. It's just something interesting that I saw. Um, so, I've been talking about this a fair bit recently. Especially uh, on the eve of the Summer Game Fest. But... Check it out. This is officially registered. And the expiry date is October 22nd, 2030. It was officially registered uh, the 12th. It's cool. But um, it got its certificate uh, three days ago, basically. And the following day, it had the cover letter, which I believe just means the, uh, thing. Now, just a reminder, this, um...